Okay, so for the super simple, absolutely nutritious vegetarian bean soup, we're going to be using a bean mix. So you need your bean mix that has been soaking overnight. And what happens is you'll see that there's these bubbles that form and it's the gases that are emitted from the beans. And what I do is regularly wash out the water putting new water in and reduce some of the gassiness from the beans. I also need a whole onion that I'm going to dice. I'm going to dice some carrots and we're going to have some kale. So this is about 200 grams each of the carrots and kale. Then I also need a can of diced tomatoes, some olive oil to fry the vegetables, and then my Sammy Wong's all-purpose spice and some water. I like sauteing the onion and the carrots initially because it provides that sweetness to the soup. I do like kale and I'm going to slice the kale and put that at the end of the soup once the beans have boiled to keep its color, so to speak, but also to provide some green. This is a very high fiber soup. It's almost like a system flush, really. So let's go ahead and cut the onion and dice this up. The trick to dicing onions is that we want to make sure that we keep the top intact. This way, all the onion is intact. And then I'm going to cut it on the other side. And then fingernails in. And the fingernails provide a protective shield. And here you have your onions. Okay, so there's your diced onion. And then depending on the thickness of your carrot, you want the carrot dice pieces to be about three quarters of an inch. So if you have carrots that thickness, then go ahead and just cut those into rings. But if not, then either cut them in half and then cut them into uh, smaller pieces. But you want to have them so that they're not going to disintegrate in the soup. Okay, so I'm going to saute this first. And while it's sauteing, I'm going to cut my kale. In a medium pot, over medium heat, I'm going to put some olive oil here. When the olive oil is heated, I'm going to add my onions. I'm going to cook this until it's translucent so that it sweetens. Okay, back here at the chopping board. I just wanted to quickly show you how to cut your kale because otherwise it's going to be a little too big. Kale, if you have the curly kale, it has this long stem and you can just separate one part so that one side has the stem and the other doesn't, so just cut it in half that way. And then after you've cut that in half, the size of the kale is a lot better for your soup. So you're gonna cut it into about half inch strips, but the strips end up being just half inch by maybe two inches in length. And I'm not gonna cook this with the beans because the beans are good. The beans are gonna cook for 45 minutes. I'm only gonna put this in towards the end. So I have my kale, my carrots, and I'm gonna open up my diced tomatoes. And I have my Sammy Wong spice mix ready. And I'm going to add the carrots. So you're just allowing the onions to caramelize, adding the carrots. The carrots are also going to sweeten the soup. Once I do the carrots, pour in my diced tomatoes. I'm gonna put my drained beans that have been soaking overnight 
into the soup mix. Add three tablespoons of the Sammy Wong's all-purpose spice mix. And if you have ground coriander, I'm going to add an extra teaspoon of ground coriander because the Middle Easterners think that the ground coriander helps with the gassiness of the beans. So I put it in and then I add the water. But before I add the water, I always clean out my tomato by just adding the water into the can and just swishing it around clean up my can and then add my water into the saucepan give it a stir and then allow this to cook for 45 minutes and then i'm going to add in the kale okay and really that's the soup so after it boils i'm going to turn it down to a simmer but i do want to have the beans cook the beans cook faster since it has been rehydrating overnight and you've been constantly rinsing out all the the bubbly water after 45 minutes this is what your soup is gonna look like I stir it there's all your beans and the smell is amazing i just went outside and came back in and Wow, the house smells so fragrant. After 45 minutes of cooking the soup, I'm going to add in my chopped kale. Going to give it a quick stir and cook this for another five minutes. As the kale cooks longer, it's going to lose its color. So now I'm just going to switch it off and allow the kale to cook with the latent heat. So whenever I'm ready to serve the soup, it should be ready. So hope this has been an easy way to make a delicious and very nutritious soup. It's really a great vegetable flush, so to speak, and your body will thank you for it. It's amazingly tasty and high in fiber. So enjoy and bon appetit. More recipes can be found on sammywongskitchen.com or social media. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.